<sighs> What's going on? Today I'm going to give you one small perspective that if you just shift your consciousness, shift your perspective in this small way, it will not only help you become more present in the here and the now, but it will radically transform the way that you're experiencing life. All right, so we live in this culture that is continually obsessed with trying to become better, get to the next place. And I hear this saying all the time, life's a journey. And, and don't treat it so, you know, life's a journey. We gotta, um, we always, you know, we're trying to get to that next place. Gotta move forward, gotta advance. And while on the one hand, I'm really excited that if for you that saying and those thoughts have helped you in some way, then more power to you. That is incredible. That is awesome. I'm not against the idea that life's a journey. I use the word journey sometimes as well because I'm uh, wanting to communicate something. But today I want to shift your perspective a little bit. Instead of thinking that you're at point A and you're trying to get to point Z, that you're journeying somewhere. And even if you don't know where that somewhere is, you know that you are journeying. You, are, you know that you are moving forward, that you are in one place and you're trying to get to another. And I need you to recognize that it's still a, a, it's still a massive way. That is a linear thought. I'm here trying to get there. As I talked about in this video here, there is no there. There doesn't exist. Somewhere doesn't exist. This moment is all that is real. And so to really begin to become present in the here and the now, you have to shift your consciousness from a place of I'm working hard to get there to a place of instead of life being a journey, life is a dance or a play. I'm playing roles, I'm playing parts, I'm playing on the playground, I'm running around, I'm enjoying all of it. I'm dancing and we're having fun. Life is about having fun and the best way to dance. And here's the, here's the number one thing that dancing and playing have in common. And that is when you dance, you dance to dance. And when you play, you play to play. And it doesn't matter whether you're playing a role, you're doing it to have fun, whether you're playing on a playground or you're playing a sport, you're doing it for fun. Now, a lot of people will say, my God, when I play a sport, I'm, I'm, I'm playing to win. All right, now you're treating life as a journey. And if you don't win, you'll be very upset. That's fine. I mean, obviously, if you're competing in something, you want to win, but you're not doing it to win. I'm here. And the more that you embrace this moment and you leave the weight of having to win to the side, if you're an athlete, you want to be more present in the moment, leave the weight of winning to the side. I remember I was playing in this, um, in this basketball game. I used to play uh, basketball was, uh, very competitively, and I probably don't look like it, but um, I was in this basketball game. I think I put up about 45 points that night, and we were down by three points, two seconds on the clock. I had an inbounds from the baseline. I took off up the court. They, they do a, a pass overhead. I caught the ball took two steps, took a fadeaway three-point shot. I got fouled on the shot. So I almost made it and rimmed out, go to the free throw line. I proceeded to draw all three free throws, put us into overtime, and we went on to win the game in overtime. At the end of that game, one of, one of the other players on my team came to me and said, man, I knew you were going to sink all those free throws. And uh, he goes, I just knew you were. You always come through in the, in the clutch. And I said, you know what my secret to coming through in the clutch is? And he said, what? I said, I do not care. There's no pressure on me to win the game. Why? I'm in this moment. I'm taking my free throw. Whew. It's just one free throw. You know how many free throws I've taken? Oh my God, I took millions of free throws in practice. It's just a free throw. I'm sitting on the line in practice shooting a free throw. There's no difference. The only difference is in your head when you stop being present. If I make this, I win. If I miss it, we lose. That is not a present thought. That is a non-present thought that comes with a lot of pressure. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you have a big a school exam coming up and you're thinking a lot about it and you're worried about it or you have a deadline at your workplace to get a project done and now all of a sudden the pressure's coming in, let the pressure go and it will ultimately improve your performance. And the way that you do that is consciously shift your thinking from a place of life's a journey and life is a dance or life is a play. This world is your playground. And the more you awaken, the more you fucking play on it. So I just wanna encourage you today with that. I love you so much. If you haven't already subscribed, do so right now. 
and uh, go ahead and check out the next video. It's going to be good. Have a beautiful day, guys. Thank <laughs> you.